Hey, this is Ryan with Bulletproof Pond and Lake. Today we're in Mount, Oklahoma, which is just west of Tulsa, Oklahoma, working on a pond that just isn't holding enough water. The water level constantly stays five or six feet below the top of the dam, when really it should be about two feet below the top of the dam. Throughout our investigations on this pond, we decided that in the end, the very best way just to go through sealing this pond was just to start over and then involve the pond renovation. Whenever we enter into a project, specifically if the pond isn't holding water, the mindset we go through and the, the ideas we have is, how many variables can we knock out of this, I guess, equation to ensure that this pond is going to hold water in the end? There's, there's a lot of things that go into a pond holding water, um, whether it be runoff, what the dam is made of, what the bottom of the pond is made of, what, what kind of depth the pond has. There's so many things that go into exactly, is this pond going to hold water and what will that water quality be? All the clearing is now complete. You can see the back side of this dam. Oh my goodness, it opened up so much. So, now we're gonna break the dam, let all the water drain out, and we'll be on to making this pond a little bit bigger and hold a little bit more water. Well, we've cleared out an area for all the mud, and we've made a little trench for the water to flow straight to a little creek that runs through there. And now, we are going to break this trench in the dam and let all the water fly. the progress of pushing the mud out of the pond through this trench in the dam is well underway. And what we're doing is coming over here and looking at the clay that we're going to be using to reline that pond. We, we've noticed after getting down to the bottom of our pond here that we're running into quite a bit of shale. But shale uh, is this mixture of, of almost really, really hard clay right before you get into almost like a line and that really isn't going to hold very much water very well. So we're coming over here and taking our clay, and we're going to take, take this clay after all this mud is pushed out in here and line the bottom of, the, of this pond and specifically line that dam there. As we dug our trench, one thing we were looking for was how good is the core of this pond? And we noticed that although a very large section of the core had clay, there was a little bit on the bottom and about the first four to five feet of the top of the dam didn't have any clay in it. Now, that raises some, some concerns because if there isn't that clay, this pond's not gonna seal through the dam. You're gonna get seepage in your dam. And then if there isn't clay on the bottom, they're gonna get seepage down there on the bottom. So, we're gonna take this material here, which is just some beautiful clay, and line it down here in the bottom of the pond. Now that we've pushed all the mud out of the pond, we've started on putting that clay blanket in the bottom and you can see we're rolling it in giving it that nice bowl shape giving it one constant thickness of clay all the way through so we're now patching up the dam of this pond that we had broken As you can see is right there we're bringing all this clay from this bank here pushing it into that dam and compacting and just rolling it back and forth to essentially stitch that dam back together. Whenever that dam is stitched back together, it'll be its normal contour just, just like you would never even know that we did anything. 
After that, we'll come in and we'll lay our blanket and continue it from right there all the way along this way and re-slope this bank here. Well, all right, we are all finished up here. We've got the pot completely lined in clay. You can see that. The dam's all leveled off. We have our drainage swales in. There's one here. Now let me take all you over there to show you the nether one. And here's that other drainage swale. This one's much larger than the other one, but this will capture all the water from the hillside, all from uphill and funnel it straight into the pond. You can see we have a really nice three to one slope all the way around, even on this side. That'll make it where there's just a small band of plants that grow all the way around the edge. And although this pond has grown in size by quite a lot, its depth has also grown in equal amount. It'd be really bad if we expanded this pond one and a half times its size, but only made the expansion part a few feet deep. We made this expansion part just as deep as the original pond. Well, if you guys are interested in building a pond or a lake, renovating one, you have one that needs repaired, you have one that didn't hold water, like this one here, feel free to give us a call or find us on the web at bulletproofpondandlake.com. We'll leave all of our information below. Thanks so much.